One day, a 15-year-old boy went to the richest man in town and asked, Mentor, what can I do to become someone like you when I grow up? The rich man looked at his face and told him, Live like no one, dare like no one, learn from me. While it's often very difficult to accept the fact that we have responsibilities for our lives or that we are the cause of our woes, if one of us can look deep and be honest, we can see how our decisions and mindsets are responsible for the kind of life we have today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the 5 F's that are likely to keep you poor forever so that you can avoid those F's. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Fear One day in the year 2008, my only brother told me, You see, I don't really like my job but I have to endure it. That was about 12 years ago and guess what? He still does the same job up till this morning. What do you think about that? Well, it's called fear. It's the greatest enemy of mankind. It's the reason why we let wrong people remain in power. It's the reason why billions of business ideas are never taken action upon. It's the reason why most of us live an unfulfilled life. It's the reason why most of us are poor. It's the enemy of all human advancements. If you allow fear to control your life, it will not only control it, it will paralyze it. Dreams are good. But good dreams and great ideas usually come with some serious risks. If you cannot dare the devil, you cannot win the trophy. Here is the simple formula I used to overcome fear. I fear a future with regrets. This is how it works. Since fear is essentially what no human ever overcomes, the best way to overcome fear is to use fear against fear. So when I decided that I wanted to become an entrepreneur, I used the fear of poverty to overcome the fear of not taking risks. Whenever I want to pursue a significant dream, I use the fear of future regret to force myself to do whatever I have to do now. So it's actually very simple. Since fear is poisonous, poison fear with fear and you will neutralize fear. 2. Friends So, let me go straight on this. If the four closest friends of yours are broke, I know the fifth person who is broke. If the four closest friends of yours are negative, I know the fifth person who is negative. If the four closest friends of yours make excuses and complain about everything, don't even bother to tell me about yourself. I know who you are already. As a matter of law, humans are the products of their environment. None of us is strong enough to be different from his immediate environment. Yes, we can change our environment. We can change the people we spend time with. We can stop listening to discouraging family members. But as long as we keep these people close to our lives and meet with them frequently, we hardly can be any better than they are. What even makes this worse is that you don't usually know when your friends are poisoning you. Believe me, my life changed the day I changed my friends. Today, I have very few friends, less than five, but these five people are like 500 to me. None of them makes excuses. None of them complain. None of them is negative. Every single one of them reads, learns, and has ambitions. 3. Fun Okay, so young people won't like this, but let me tell you, life is about work, work, and work. Forget the nonsense anyone can say that they need pleasure and fun so they party every weekend. You don't need fun. You don't need pleasure. So someone will ask me, you really want me to work, work, work and work like a slave? No. I want you to figure out how to make your work your pleasure so that you can derive joy in your work. Here's a thing. Most people don't know. The more you love your job, the less entertainment you'll need. Show me anyone who consumes entertainment several hours each day. Show me anyone who parties every week and I will show you someone who doesn't like a part of his or her life, either work or a family. Don't forget this. The more you like your job, the less entertainment you'll need. 4. Family If there is anyone who would ever tell you to take it easy, that person will be from your family. If there is anyone who will ever caution you, who will ever advise you to live a normal life to do what everyone is doing, 
to follow the normal route, that person is going to be in your family. The reason is very simple. Your family members love you, so they don't want to destroy your life. When I decided to be an entrepreneur, the people who love me the most are the ones who wanted me to repent. The best way to handle family is to hope your relationship will be better in the future. I mean, whatever is your life's purpose has to be pursued, regardless of who is on the way. For seven years, most people in my family were expecting me to destroy my life. I left them, rarely visited any one of them, or allowed them time to have negative conversations with me. Today, all of us are back to where we were before the break. Don't allow people who love you to destroy your life by causing you to do what everyone is doing. Because if you do what everyone is doing, you'll get the results everyone is getting. 5. Facebook and Social Media Several months ago, someone came to my apartment and noticed that I didn't have a television set. Then he told me, You're the only man I ever knew who doesn't have a TV. Well, I deleted my personal Facebook profile in 2017 and I never use Twitter, Instagram, or anything like that. But why? Well, whatever anything is too interesting, I always suspect them. My problem with TV and social media is that they are too interesting. When something is extremely interesting, only a few humans can use them without being addicted to them. The problem with addiction is that the only things you're allowed to be addicted to are the things that lead you to your life's purpose. Whenever you're addicted to something which doesn't lead you to your life's purpose, you're sacrificing your own life for someone's purpose. I don't see how anyone will waste 7 hours every day on social media and still hope to be rich. Now, let me clarify something here. Though I no longer use social media for my personal use, I still use social media. Yes, you can come across me tomorrow on TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or whatever. But be sure whenever you see me, I'm there for money or to further any of my life's agendas. This is not to say that you shouldn't have fun or entertain yourself, but my mother often said, too much of everything is bad. Whatever is extremely interesting should enter your watch list. Whatever takes away 5 hours every day needs to help your life's purpose. In summary, fear your enemy. You won't be rich until you do what most people want and you won't do much until you poison fear with the fear of future regret. If you want to know your future, look at the faces of your closest friends. People who love you will keep you from daring your dream if you allow them. The more you like fun, party and social media, the less joy you have and the less progress you're making towards your life's goals. I hope this video helps someone. We love you.